Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we will explore multiple ways of how to take a screenshot using Python. We often take screenshots while using our computers and both Windows and Mac have functionality to do this easily. But let's say you wanted to automate this process and maybe take screenshots automatically every 5 minutes or every hour or something like that. Doing it manually would take a lot of your time and will require you to be present at your computer at each time interval. Using Python, we can easily automate this task, and there are several libraries that support this functionality. To continue following this tutorial, please install the following packages on your computer using pip. Since we have multiple packages, I compiled a requirements.txt file where we have the packages that we're going to use, and these are PyAuto GUI, Pillow, and MSS. In order to install all of these at once, you will simply run pip install -r requirements txt. And you'll hit enter and it will take a few minutes to install since some of these libraries are pretty large. Once it's installed, Let's move on to the next sections and actually see how we can take a screenshot using Python. We will first explore how to take a screenshot with PyAuto GUI in Python. This option is probably the fastest and the most convenient if you are working with a single monitor and you would like to take a screenshot off the full screen. Alternatively, it is also a good option if you know the coordinates of the box that you want to screenshot. We will begin with importing the PyAuto GUI library. Then we call the screenshot method, which will return an image object and simply save it using any file name that works for you. Let's create a new variable, myScreen, which will store the image object. And now let's save it in the same directory as myScreenPNG. Let's run the code and see what we get. And you should get a PNG file in the same directory as your Python code. So here's an example. Now let's see how we can take a screenshot with pill library in Python. Pill is one of the most famous Python libraries for working with images and is widely used for image processing. It is not a surprise to expect that there is going to be screenshot functionality included in it as well. Similarly to the PyAuto GUI solution, Pill allows to take a screenshot using Python in only three lines of code. To get started, we begin with importing the image grab module from pill library. Then we will use the grab method, which will return an image object, and we will simply save it using any file name that works for us. First, let's create a new object and call it my screen. and it will store our image object, which is going to be the screenshot.
And finally, let's save it as a PNG file in the same directory as our code. And I will call my screenshot file, my screen underscore pill PNG. And let's now run the code and see what we get. You will see the PNG file appearing in the same directory, which is my screen underscore pill. And let's take a look. Now let's see how we can take screenshot of multiple monitors using MSS library in Python. In previous sections, we considered taking screenshots of single monitors. Now, what if you have two monitors and you want to take screenshots of both? Python has an amazing library, MSS, which allows you to easily do that in a few steps. First, begin with importing the library. Now, to take a screenshot of the current working screen, you will simply use the shot method. In case of multiple screens, all you need to do is put the above code into a loop and add a monitor parameter to it. Since I use two monitors, I will simply use a range from 1 to 3. And let's run the code and see what we get. What we see is that two files, monitor1.png and monitor2.png, were generated in the same folder as our code. So let's take a look at them. Monitor1 is a screenshot of my first monitor, and monitor2 is a screenshot of my second monitor. In this tutorial, we discussed how to automate taking screenshots using several libraries in Python, which included PyAuto GUI, PIL, and MSS. Feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions, subscribe to my channel, like and share the video, and stay tuned for more of my Python programming tutorials.